Hi, everybody. This is Alan Fine, and I'm here with Jack Anderson, who's the president of Crystal Cruises. And uh, we're going to talk about the current state of Crystal Cruises, uh, about its recent mistakes and triumphs. We're going to talk about its newest acquisition, Crystal Endeavor, which we are on right now. And uh, it's an expedition ship as only Crystal could have envisioned it, here on Insider Travel Report. You told my partner, James Schillinglaw, four times you tried to retire. <laughs> and they, I mean, they keep pulling you back is what you guys were joking about. And indeed, uh, Tom Wolper retired. Uh, there was a, we had a calamity here. We had a, a, a pandemic and, and your loyalty was to, to help the company and make it survive. You were interim president. And then what the hell happened that <laughs> you're now the president? I mean, tell us the story. Uh, the, the essential things that I aspired and committed to doing when I stepped in after Tom was to help Crystal, help our crew, help our employees, help our travel partners and our vendors. Everybody was hurting and you wanted to be there to fix that. And that was the objective. Uh, turned out to take longer than we expected. The pandemic lasts, has continues to last longer than any of us could have imagined but uh, I, do, I don't consider that my job is done yet in terms of getting crystal where we know its potential is and what we need to do as a company and with our partners but you didn't think you could do that as an interim president it was time to step up well i think interim implies three to six months it's it, uh, and you're here for the long haul it's it's been quite a bit longer, and we have a ways to go. Well, no, it does give a lot of confidence to everybody, so I'm glad you well, did it. I, I think that was part of it, is, is stability, confidence. Of, I've made promises. Which so you, you intend to keep. You can't walk away until you keep your promises. So, yes, I'm yeah, still that's here. That's great. All right. Well, now, back in July of, of 21, mm -hmm. uh, you guys did the greatest thing. You decided... There's a way around this CDC, uh, all these CDC rules, and we could just start uh, cruising out of the Bahamas. Let's talk about that. Uh, 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 let me recharacterize around the CDC. We believe there was a way to safely start cruising again. Uh, and so first with... Without casting anyone as a villain, that's what you say. Right, right, right. Uh, and I'll divert for a second and say CDC has progressed so far in terms of their partnership with the cruise lines, their communications, their cooperations. It was a learning curve for them, too. Absolutely. And we talk to them every week, you know, bounce things off of them, get their advice, give them our suggestions. They've turned into a great partner to bring the industry back safely. Uh, so we started with the Bahamas. 16 trips we had or more? Yep. Uh, I think it expanded to 19 on the Serenity. Then secondly, the uh, this ship, the Endeavor, started in Iceland in July and then the Symphony in Boston and now in New York sailing to Bermuda. But all of that um, has been a great rehearsal for opening up for the world, which is where we're heading. Yes, uh, along with with all of the other cruise lines, they've learned so much and made extraordinary commitments to health and safety uh, that I, I think we're proving we can we can do it well, responsibly and carefully, and still pro provide just an absolutely extraordinary vacation this cruise today i'm sure you've heard it a hundred times we're so glad to be back on a ship and doing something that feels normal uh, and in the case of crystal uh, these agents on board have been extraordinary gracious and complimentary i was telling someone yesterday the most frequent word i've ho heard is home I feel like I'm home when they come back onto a crystal ship. Over 90% of our pre-COVID crew 
is back with us. The amount of loyalty from crew and uh, travel advisors and guests is phenomenal, even with the troubles and the rumors and innuendo. Yeah, that's very true. So uh, let's talk a little bit about Esprit. Yeah. So um, what, what, now clearly, as we were talking earlier, uh, Esprit can't deliver what, uh, couldn't deliver what this ship does, Endeavor. Uh, it, and, and if you want to talk about that a little bit, that would be good. Uh, we don't have a customer, an agent, or an employee that did not love the Esprit. I know. It was magic. The ratings were through the roof. Yes. So yes. What, what was the reason for age of the ship, capacity of the ship, yes. uh, and and other limitations like no, no elevator, no elevator, um, and but why not keep it and do and have both? Uh, one of the things I can tell you about that ship as well is uh, it's not incredibly stable, so. It was always planned for itineraries, oh. which were in very calm areas. And if, when we had to relocate, we would not put any. So, so we had a lot of non-revenue days, moving the ship seasonally from place to place, um, and it was simply financially challenging. It was not irrelevant that we were delivering the most spacious, luxurious small luxury expedition yacht at the same time we made the decision that our our future was on this platform and so you sold it to who Lindblad right and for them that's a, that's a really that's a great uh, acquisition uh, I don't know if they've announced their their deployment but uh, I believe it will be a very good ship for, for their it, plans. So it helped a little bit on the cash flow, I guess. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> but but that wasn't necessarily the reason for selling it. But let's talk about the cash flow, and let's yes. talk about the fact that you were very honest last time you were on Insider Travel Report, and you said, we've made mistakes, we're working on it, you had you had a plan, but things happen. Uh, can you tell us now, wh what state are we in? We have continued to progress massively on the customer refund side which was our first priority and in fact travel aid partners told us look you need to get our customers money back first then then we'll worry about commission this is like put the mask on the children when the oxygen drops yes. put on the children first and then yourself yes so the remaining customer refunds uh, is probably less than five percent uh, without having you're being honest because I know you want it to be zero percent oh uh, it will be zero percent and I expect very very soon the second obligation or commitment and promise that we made and which has taken longer than we initially expected was uh, I have to say this about what's called protected commissions it's very difficult as a business if you receive a hundred dollars and you commit to paying back a hundred and sixteen and and that's the very nature of, of the goodwill commitment that, that we committed to as well as other cruise lines which is to the best of our ability we were going to against the cancel voyages as the result of covid that we would pay the agents commissions for fully paid bookings uh, unwavering that we're going to complete that uh, I learned a very hard lesson about trying to project timetables um, so I won't do that but I will tell you this as a business our ability is your cash flow question our ability to complete this is directly related to our restart our right. occupancies and our per diems in August were better than July. In September, they were better than August. I can tell you that in November, they're better. In De we're st every single month, right now, Crystal's bookings on an average price, average per diem, and ship occupancy is stair-stepping. And as we do so, it provides the cash flow to give me 
unwavering confidence that I'm going to stay and fulfill that promise and I expect it'll be very soon. But even before that, you did some collateralized loans and that kept you up to, got you to this point. Yes. Yeah. So you, you've kept your promise, it's just taking longer and the, the timelines are the problem. But, it, but we've also progressed. Uh, since I talked to James, that both the customer refunds and the travel agent commissions have made very significant pros progress. Are we complete? And if you're the customer who hasn't got your refund, you don't give a damn about the percent, right? right. <laughs> it's your right. money you right. need right. back. And same for, for our partners that haven't gotten theirs. So we need to be 100%, and I expect we will be very soon. The other part of the equation is Genting, whose relationship has been um, uh, always behind you. I mean, we've been covering them in uh, like Resort World. I was there in Vegas when they opened. Yep. Their, their, their logo is here in the casino on this ship. Uh, you've said that they're behind you. Let's talk a little more about that relationship. They built the ship. The most luxurious, spacious uh, expedition yacht ever built. Uh, they're they're currently talking about and designing although there is there an ocean ship coming I, I there is an ocean and ship. they had a debt refinance so that must have gone okay yeah uh, they did complete their debt refinance they're they're very seriously working on plans for a second endeavor ship oh, another endeavor as well as an ocean ship an ocean. Uh, and that's all that uh, that's an extraordinary extraordinary commitment to Crystal, uh, and I would say that they as well have been unwavering that they love our crew, they love our employees, they love the brand, they appreciate the complexity uh, and difficulties. They, they through their cruise lines and their casinos and their hotels, have had their COVID challenges yeah. quite, and continue to. Sure, sure. But uh, the best word I have is unwavering. Uh, we're committed, and now there's just absolute... You're right, the stair stay. And In fact, let's talk about 22 and 23. Everyone's looking at the forecasts. Yes. My projection is that we will continue to stair step up till about June or July, and at that point in time, we think we will be back uh, at per diems and occupancies that we saw in 19. So now let's talk about this ship. Mm -hmm. That's what we're here for. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you've been talking to the travel agents that are on board and, and uh, they have been extraordinarily positive and, and kind in their comments on the ship. Uh, I can tell you that there are agents that I've been sitting with yesterday and today that are texting and Instagramming and Facebooking pictures of the ships to their customers and saying, you got to do it, it's worth every bit of it. Uh, ship's about to go to the Antarctic and it's going to be amazing. So very, very positive feedback. And, and I'll say, I have to say, physically, it's an extraordinarily beautiful ship, but Crystal's difference is officers and crew and they make the difference. They, they're happy to be back. They also have been loyal to Crystal for you know, 16, 18 months of being without work. And you can see the sparkle in their eyes and they're, when they put their mask down briefly and they smile at you, you know they're very happy to be back serving our guests and, and seeing agents that they recognize from previous cruises and vice versa. It's a family. Expedition cruising has, is, 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 there's so much competition. Uh, obviously, the, the, the loyal Crystal fans are going to come out. Um, how do we get new, either new to cruise or new to Crystal to come when there's so much competition? What's the, uh, certainly it's the service, it's the staff, but what else is the secret sauce? Well, in the case of this ship, it is the most technologically, navigationally sophisticated ship in the world. Uh, it is substantially more spacious than other 
expedition ships. Um, its speed, its stability. I don't think there is anything else that matches it. But it, but I would go on to say that while there has been a lot of building in the expedition market, I believe that a, a lot of growth for the cruise industry is going to be smaller ships. Mm -hmm. This is not only an expedition ship, it's a yacht. Mm -hmm. And you feel like it's yours. <laughs> the, the spaciousness and the choices and the service. Uh, so even for so the- If you're gonna go to these far flung places, you might as well go on a yacht that you feel is yours. Exactly, for for the uh, the size of the ship, the, the luxury of the ship, the engineering and safety of the ship, uh, and even out of the Arctic and Antarctic regions, where it's more yacht going to places that the larger ships can't go, I think it's we're emerging from COVID, smaller luxury ships that have demonstrated extraordinary care for their guests in terms of health and safety and their their protocols uh, are going to be rewarded uh, with customer choice and many most of the agents on the ship have been on the, the other expedition ships ask them yeah, what no tell us what are they saying they're saying it they're all really really good but nothing compares to the ship. I know that uh, you made a speech here the other, last night, in fact. I know how much you appreciate the loyalty. Uh, as we wrap up now, why don't you address our more than 90,000 travel advisors and tell them what you think. For the history of Crystal, it was built by our retail travel partners. I believe we have the largest percentage of our total Retail sales is attributable to travel agents. They brought us to the dance. They are our future. And they're studying the, the intricacies that the normal guest doesn't even know for, for you. Well, they're delivering it for you. I can also tell you that in this COVID world, I think a professional travel advisor <laughs> to weave you through the complexities of quarantines and tests and health visas and where you can go and where you can't and whether or not COVID cases are increasing and decreasing. I think their value proposition for consumers who are going to make a considerable investment of not only money but their time and do not want to be disappointed. I don't think there's any time that a travel advisor could be more valuable to a consumer and making a, a wise decision. You guys are important. You need to reach out. You need to learn about this ship. You need to go to, uh, is it, I think it's crystalcruises.com and then look up Endeavor. Yes. And, uh, and then hopefully you'll get somehow get invited onto the ship. <laughs> right. are, there, are there programs for that? We do have travel agent rates on, on many of the sailings and we will continue to. Uh, it is important to understand yeah. the differences. So thank you for talking. Hey, absolutely my pleasure. And this is Alan Fine for Insider Travel Report.